You need to be learning for comprehension purposes versus you learning just so you can memorize information. Uh, CA says, uh, I think part of it has to do. So I did a video talking about why people fail IT certs. And I think this was a short that I put together. And basically I just say, cause people don't study, which is, which is the number one reason that's why people fail IT certs. Cause they don't study. This person says, I think part of it has to do with not knowing what to study. Even if you barely get by or do okay and have gone through several courses, tests and flashcards, it's hard to figure out what works for you and how to study when there's so much material. So I do somewhat agree with that. So when you guys go sit down and take a, a certification test and uh, let's just say you go take your A plus or your IT fund, you know, whatever, your A plus cert hardware and you fail the test. What happens is Pearson View, they're going to give you a printout. Assuming you took it at a testing center, but even if you took it at home, there's going to be a printout for you to download off their website. And the printout obviously is going to tell you, you know, information, you know, you, your comp to your ID number, your grade, but at the bottom of it, it's going to tell you what sections you miss questions out of. Now, here's the thing that I don't like about CompTIA. They don't tell you specifically what questions you actually missed on the test. They'll just say you missed a question out of this section talking about mobile devices or ports and protocols, but you don't know specifically which one that you had to type, you know, which one that you missed. And then you factor that in with the CompTIA test objectives being like 19 pages long of information. So getting over here to my man, CA, he's like, I don't know exactly what to study. Well, that's kind of true. <laughs> you don't know exactly what to study. And I know a lot of people always ask me, they'll be like, well, what kind of questions are going to be on the test? Listen, I don't work for CompTIA. I have no clue what they're going to be put uh, put on the test. Because here's the thing. You and I can go take the same, we can go to the same testing center, the same day, the same time, take the same test, sit directly next to each other, and we can get two totally different versions of the same test. You might have 90 questions. I might have 88 questions. You might have no PBQs, performance-based questions. I might have three or four of them. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So in order for this person to be successful in this in, uh, in this endeavor. He says he went through several courses, flashcards. He's just going to have to hunker down, as they say, break out the notebooks and study everything. Now, are you going to be able to memorize everything? Hell to the no, right? And it's a foolish endeavor if you think you're going to go out there and memorize all this stuff. I always tell people you need to be learning to for comprehension purposes versus you learning just so you can memorize information. So when you're out there learning the A plus, and let's just say you're going through the TCP ports and protocols, and we get the port 443, which is HTTPS. Do you even understand what HTTPS means? Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Do you understand what IMAP? means pop three means like do you actually truly understand these concepts or are you just simply trying to memorize the port and the port number because you put it on a flash card i personally believe that in order for you to effectively learn especially when it comes to this it stuff you need to be learning because you are truly trying to comprehend and understand why is this thing doing what it's doing why is it doing this? Why is it doing that? And this is why it's important for you guys to actually seek the counsel of somebody who's teaching a course like me, <laughs> but seek the counsel, right? That's why myself and others who teach these courses, we always highly push these courses because listen, you can go join my YouTube membership, right? $10 a month. You can look at a plus the whole a plus course, the most recent one up there. You can go watch slideshows all day long to your heart's content. But do you know what the problem is with that? Oftentimes you don't have access access to the person who put those slideshows together to ask them questions, to elaborate on a concept so that he or she can make it make sense to you. That's why it's important for you guys to consider signing up for a course, especially if you have access to the instructor, because right now I'm doing an A plus bootcamp, right? Y'all saw me advertising and promoting it about a month or so ago. I got some students in there now that they're going through. One of the biggest, I personally think is the biggest selling attribute about that is that they get exclusive access to me to pick my brain and ask me questions and being that they're paying me i have to answer these questions and i'm not doing it because i have to but you know i do it one i do it because i enjoy it but 
they ask questions. If they don't understand something about, I don't know, like DNS, domain name system, they don't understand what that is, then it's my job to explain it, and, you know, explain it in non-technical terms to the best of my abilities so that I can make it make sense to them so that hopefully they can understand why this thing is, what DNS is and what it does. And then I personally think that'll help with memorization later on when it's time to go into test prep mode so that they can uh, get ready to go take that test and hopefully pass it on the first time go. So yes, it's a lot of information, but you need to be learning this stuff so that you can uh, hopefully learn it and truly understand it as opposed to just trying to memorize it.